Hi, it's Tim here at Matchbox Customs and Restos, and today two Kenworth uh, trucks came in. You've seen in a previous video where I had done a wheel swap on this model here, uh, except for mine was in a lot better shape. This one's going to be a total complete repaint, uh, wheel swap. Uh, Hopefully we're going to get around to doing clear windshields in the next couple of weeks and I'll take care of that maybe in the interior. But what I want to focus on today is this one. Um, so what I want to do is just get this apart and do a wheel swap on it. I have a set of wheels here so you know this is a let's see how it looks and see what it looks like um it should look as good as the last one so let's uh, go ahead and take this one apart like i always do i pull out one of these this is uh, green light wheels uh, what they come in and i take and use this this way i don't get this up all over the place so first thing I'll do is drill this out a little bit so that's why when I use a bigger drill bit it doesn't have to go you know it comes off a little, the flange comes off there a lot quicker those things always get in there just a little tight There's that. Take the head off the flange now. This one here is, um, this one's still a Lesney uh, matchbox. So this is 1981. I think 81 was last year for the uh, English ones. The rest of them started coming out in the call or something like that. This one is, uh, yeah, this one's made in McCall. Another thing I'm going to have to do with this truck is I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and get all the chrome off of it and start all over again because if you look at the grill, it's green. I think that's the color that's underneath of it. So, make sure we get all the top of the flange off here so this way we can open this pretty easily. Try with. There we go. It's popping right open. Really don't want to ruin them wheels unless I. Do it by accident. I don't want to do that. There we go. Alright, so there's the bottom. As you can see, yeah, that's pretty green. But I'll strip all that off there and then I'll do the Maltov uh, chrome on it. I've got uh, the refill on its way in, and what I'm going to do is I'll strip this down and uh, then I'll use the airbrush. Thank God I got an airbrush uh, compressor on its way in. And I'll go ahead and shoot that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these 
little shavings here, some that fell out, and put it right there. So, not a too bad of a wheel swap. It's going to be pretty easy. I'll also re chrome these. I'm thinking about because they've got these um, on both trucks, they've got the stacks pretty much even with the cap. I'm thinking about extending them, giving them a you know turnout on the tops. I think that would look pretty good. Just an idea. front axle rolling off. These trucks, these matchbox trucks seem to be pretty easy to do a wheel swap on. So basically, there it is. Wheels are on. I'll probably have to shave the inner size of the wheels down, but that's fine. And you put it back together. She rolls nice. She can look better, but with the wheels on it. And I know that, you know, some of you guys uh, sent me messages going, why haven't I done a, uh, why didn't I do a uh, conventional? Well, didn't have one at the time, but you know, with the first one like this, and it rolls good. So, I mean, I've got several different trucks. This is 160th scale. These are supposed to be 164th. And I believe this is See, this one really can work. This one's made in China. It does not, uh, yeah, this is a 160th scale too. But with uh, everything that's going on, I, like I said, I've got parts, I've got all kinds of stuff coming in. Um, this here will probably get a wheel swap. I already know where the wheels are. Uh, half fenders, mud flaps, tail lights. Um, this one should come out pretty good. That is a Windross white cab over. And uh, it don't look too bad. I gotta do some work to it, but that'll be done. Let me get this stuff down. This is gonna be a pretty cool drag car. This, and for the ones that have asked, this is going to be this is a 67 Ford step side. It's going to be sitting on a 4x4 chassis. I just got to, I got to get more parts and stuff in. This, of course, once it gets, you know, I'm going to detail the trailer. There's marker lights. There's the tail lights are already done. But this is a pretty cool. Uh, late 60s, early 70s Chevy. Well, we'll get we'll get it done. And uh, anyways, guys, if you want to help, like, subscribe, share. Um, if you really feel the need, it would be greatly appreciated. My Patreon is up. I am adding more features to each one of the categories, uh, the the levels, I should say. I'm I'm new to that, so you know, be patient. I'm wor I'm I'm working my way through that. Um. So, uh, like I said, if you like, subscribe and share that. That would be great. Uh, that will help the channel a lot. And uh, you'll see more of these. Make sure you hit the bell because every one of these trucks are going to get worked over. 
this one's gonna get worked over too. It's newer than what I like, but that's fine. So, anyways, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. I uh, hope you guys have a great day and I appreciate every one of you that has watched, liked, subscribed, and shared my videos. So, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.